limiteds are being replaced soon. This major hated YouTuber was just banned again. Roblox just had a bunch of updates and a huge Roblox game might be getting into legal trouble again. And just so much more news in today's video. But first, you guys have to subscribe because if you're not, uh, I don't like you. But if you are subscribed, I really do like you and you're really cool and awesome. And uh, I'm thanking you right now because you're super cool. But anyways, let's move on to the first story, uh, of course, which is probably one of the biggest ones of the video. I'm um, just gonna get right into it. And it's um, limiteds. So for like the past couple months, we've kind of been, uh, you know, expecting some type of limited change, like some change in the limiteds on Roblox. And if you don't know what limiteds are, probably never looked at the catalog, but it's basically those items with the little green icon that says limited. Basically, it means that they cost more because you can only buy them from resellers. See, when you usually buy hats, it just creates a new instance of the hat and it gives it to you. But with limiteds, there's a limited quantity of the item, so you can only buy it from other people. It determines the price and the demand and stuff like that. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff. It's like investing in stocks. I know you're already snoring as soon as I said that, but let's just move on to, to what this means, okay? So we basically knew about this whole thing called collectibles, and I remember my opinion on this was that it was just going to be like a renaming of limiteds, like the, because in the catalog, limited items are already called collectibles, so that's what I thought, but apparently I was actually wrong. It is a different and separate thing to limiteds, like I think it actually is replacing limiteds, so each new limited, I think after this point, is going to be a collectible, I think. I think limiteds are going to stay limiteds, but collectibles are going to be the new form of limiteds. I don't know. Let's just read because there's so much like stuff in this thread and I think it's very important. For the past few months, Roblox has been working on a new system for limited avatar items called collectibles. Here's a thread on how they will work. Like limiteds, collectibles will have a set number of copies that can be sold of the item. Collectibles can be sold from user to user. However, there will be a holding period of 30 days before the items can be resold, even if the original stock is not sold out. Okay. Unlike limited items, not all collectibles will be tradable. There will be some sort of depiction to indicate if you can trade a collectible item. Okay. Roblox is currently testing a few collectible hats internally on the avatar marketplace. All right, let's check all these out. So there was actually some hats uploaded that were just like test items. Let's see. So here's the low quantity, no resellers test hat, guys. Whoa. There's no hat here, guys. It, it doesn't load. I've tried to get it to load. It doesn't load. Pretty sure there's just no model or anything. This is just to like test the API or whatever. Uh, this is the same thing. And this is the same thing. Uh, high quantity. So yeah, I mean, I guess they're just replacing limiteds nowadays and uh, whatever. Also, I feel like this might have something to do with UGC perhaps um uh, maybe maybe that's why they're not going to be tradable or something like that because the only tradable collectibles will be the ones through roblox and not through ugc or something like that i don't know but uh, other than that yeah it's coming out soon it's been confirmed it's been uh, absolutely announced and uh we finally are getting this update after a couple months and uh, i i can't wait to see what happens it, it's probably going to be disappointing but you know we'll see we'll see it you know put some faith on roblox you know maybe this can be a banger update and let's move on to the next story which is uh just some small roblox updates that i wanted to talk about which is this first one one, which is actually also from Bloxy News. What the heck? This person like tweets news or something. I don't know. <laughs> and it's just a small little tiny update where when you actually join full servers on Roblox, it actually tells you how long it's going to take to join the full server. Well, not like how long, but it basically puts you in a queue instead of retrying. Because if you've never joined a full server in Roblox, it literally just says retrying and then like a number uh, where, where it says like how many times it's tried to join you into the game. So it's not exactly a queue. So yeah, if there's multiple people trying to load into a full game, it'll like raise the queue number you get it you understand and i think this is a pretty cool update you know because there's so many people that try to join like streamers or you know other things like that and uh you know they always get hit with the full lobby the requesting new join or something like that and hopefully this this will uh, make it a lot easier uh for people but now let's move on to another story and uh one of the last ones okay guys and this one is kind of major all right so in my last video i don't remember which last video but it's one of them i basically talked about how thriving empire one of the biggest games on roblox is actually getting threatened to be sued by their players basically they added loot boxes to the game made the players angry and now the players are emailing the car companies that are in this game to tell them that they're putting their cars in the loot boxes and uh trying to get those companies to kind of like send cease and desist to this company or to this game so they remove the cars in the loot boxes perhaps and uh let's just say uh that people were successful guys <laughs> I so there was this other tweet that was tweeted out but it it's since been deleted i do so okay Okay, so it's been deleted, so I don't know if it's completely real or true, um, but I also saw Creecraft tweet about it, so it, I think it's real, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, but here's what the update has been, okay? Consequences have arrived from this. This car brand sent a cease and desist
assist letter to Roblox after players of Driving Empire started emailing any car that resembles that brand. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. So yeah, and basically they removed every single car that looked like that brand's car, I guess, because I guess they got a cease and desist. <laughs> so yeah, big thanks to the Driving Empire community. Now all... I I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that dude has been gone off sale in greenville roblox and of course driving empire so so on top of people actually just emailing these companies on driving empire's behalf it's actually like spread to other games such as greenville and i guess they put slash roblox so maybe just roblox in general uh, has like any roblox game with these types of cars has to remove them but uh, basically any game that has had this brand in their game is uh it has to delete their cars i don't even know how to explain it but it's it's pretty huge and uh yeah i just can't even believe that this is happening bro like what what and yeah i think this is just like a nice wake-up call guys because you know i think we had lamborghini had do something like this like a long time ago i think we did have lamborghini suing some car games on roblox but uh, i don't think that really like amounted to anything i think it kind of just like died down but now it's coming back in full swing and uh the roblox community is in shambles let's move on to the next story and probably the most important guys so i don't know how true this is but i saw it on my timeline and i think it's very important uh it's lisa gaming uh getting banned again so you guys know lisa gaming i don't think i have to talk about who they are but uh, Lisa Gaming is the person that deleted houses in Bloxburg like years ago, got banned on Bloxburg, and then went on like this rampage for the rest of their life where they basically just like troll. Like their whole life is trolling. Whether it's funny trolling or not funny, uh, it has basically cemented themselves as like the most hated Roblox YouTuber in the world. I mean, look at this. They have 150,000 subs and they get 800,000 views per video, which is insane sub to view ratio. But uh, the reason they get that many views is uh, because they don't get that much support, guys. <laughs> So many people hate Lisa Gaming, which honestly, or I don't know, I don't care. None of my business, honestly. I don't know much about this situation, but uh, yeah, basically, uh, and uh, yeah, basically Lisa Gaming has had one of her Roblox accounts deleted, I think. So, okay, so here's Lisa Gaming's old account, Lisa Gaming YT, which I think is still up, okay? So let's see, is Lisa Gaming YT, oh. No, Lisa Gaming YT is the account that just got banned. So if we actually go, <laughs> this this is okay. Okay, I get it now. I get it. So this is uh, Lisa Gaming's account, and as you can see at the top of the screen, terminated, banned, completely banned. Last seen 21 hours ago. So that means they were banned very recently. Banned, 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 literally banned. And uh, I'm just uh, I'm just curious, what does this mean? Like how how did Lisa Gaming get banned? Was it for something serious, or was it like just an exploit, or di did they troll too hard? I have no clue. Um, and yeah, it's terminated. It's not like a couple day ban. Like no, this is this is terminated bro like this is deleted deleted and uh yeah man this is kind of a dub maybe who knows tell me in the comments is this a w or an l moment and for the last story i just wanted to talk about this funny little tweet i made if you guys don't know i own like a fake roblox news twitter account called rollbox rtc and uh basically i tweeted out this <laughs> don't even ask yeah so it was schlep's idea to tweet this uh blame schlep but i tweeted this and the tweet did very well and it got to the point where even like other official like roblox tweet like news account were actually like replying Flying and quoting it saying that this is not happening there was a lot of people believing that this was gonna happen and uh guys it's not it's not gonna happen guys i'm sorry there's not gonna be an ice spice concert experience i lied i'm a liar so yeah um sorry to the roblox community i i made you think ice spice was gonna have a concert i lied i lied <laughs> i just literally lied <laughs>